We have so far changed the loudness of the sound. We've uh, isolated sound segments within the sound. We've reversed the sound. And we've created an echo effect. Now we can also change the pitch of the sound. The sound of one, two, three. One, two, three. Was recorded at uh, a rate of 48,000 samples per second. That uh, means essentially that in 48, uh, in one second, 48,000 uh, items were added to the list. Uh, now we're going to uh, use a playback speed to vary the uh, pitch of the sound. So if I set the playback speed to 48,000 sounds per second, samples per second, then that playback speed can be used to vary the sound. So uh, let's suppose, for example, that I play it back at one, that is the same rate at, at, as which it was recorded, then I'll get something like this. One, two, three. Now, on the other hand, if I uh, increase this playback speed, it will increase the pitch. One, two, three. Or, if I decrease the playback speed and multiply it by 0 .7, 0 0.75, then I'll get a lo lower pitch. One, two, three. So, by varying the playback speed, I can control the pitch. So now we control the pitch, the loudness, whether it's played forwards or backwards, whether there's an echo, isolate certain segments within and the sound. And there are quite a few other things we could do as well. For example, we could create a high pass filter that would filter out the lower frequencies and only allow the higher frequencies to go through, or do the reverse, uh, create a low pass filter. And Many other effects can be created simply by working with the list of samples that uh, represents the sound. So essentially we're transforming a physical phenomenon using a digital list of numbers, uh, digital representations of the phenomenon, and we'll be able to do the same thing with images as well as sound.